Los Angeles, the West region wasn't quite as crazy as the South region on Thursday, which means that only one underdog crashed the Elite Eight party. Florida State, the nine seed that had already eliminated one seed Xavier, upended four seed Gonzaga, a team that entered the game with 32 wins under its belt. In the opener at the Staples Center, three seed Michigan put on a dazzling offensive display against seven seed Texas A. So what's next? Let's take a look, March Madness matchup, Florida State vs. Michigan How to watch the Florida State-Michigan Elite Eight game is scheduled to start at 8.49 p.m. The game will be on TBS and can be streamed live on the March Madness Live app, no. 3 Michigan coach, John Beeline overall record 31-7 scoring leader, Mo Wagner, 14.4 ppg, rebounding leader, Mo Wagner, 6.9 ppg, assists leader, Xavier Simpson, 3.7 apg, famous non-athlete alum, James Earl Jones, no. 9 Florida State coach, Leonard Hamilton overall record, 23-11 scoring leader, Terrence Mann 12.9 ppg, rebounding leader, Terrence Mann 5.5 ppg, assists leader, Trent Forrest, 4.1 apg, famous non-athlete alum, Hunter S. Thompson best individual matchup, execution versus Length It's hard to pin down individual matchups when you're talking about Florida State, a team that regularly plays 10 guys and rotates them in and out in what are essentially 4 and 5 minute shifts. True fact, 10 players saw at least 10 minutes against Gonzaga. So how about this? The most important matchup is Michigan's execution against Florida State's length. The Seminoles harassed and hassled Gonzaga into plenty of mistakes both in the form of actual turnovers and rushed, poor shots because of out-of-rhythm offensive possessions. The Wolverines have to be careful with their passes, whether around the perimeter or into the post, most eye-popping stat in their second-round upset of two-seed North Carolina, the Texas A. Michigan, though, was undaunted. The Wolverines needed less than a dozen minutes to eclipse that total of made three-pointers in their Sweet 16 game against A. And get this, those first seven three-pointers Michigan made? Seven different players made those seven three-pointers. Yeah, get to know, Charles Matthews, Michigan. The 6-6 sophomore was outstanding against Texas A. He can knock down three-pointers, but his most important defensive S might be the ability to get into the lane and knock down floaters from 6 to 10 feet away. In the NCAA tournament, he's shooting 69.2% on his shots inside the three-point arc. Those floaters draw the opposing big men away from the boards, which gives the Michigan rebounders a better shot at the offensive rebound and put back. And it also clears the inside for passes and easy buckets, the pick, Michigan. Yes, this is a different game and yes, the Seminoles present challenges that Texas A. But the Wolverines were insanely impressive in dismantling the Aggies by 27 points in the Sweet 16 and when they're playing like that, five players scored at least 10 points and they shot 61.9% as a team, only a handful of teams in the country can slow them down. Also, it's rarely smart to bet against a John Beeline team in March, a lesson I learned Thursday.